Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, is this the finals or the final revenge? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. We got the Boston Celtics versus the Dallas Mavericks today, man. And the NBA Finals is going down. It's been a while since we had some NBA basketball, man. But I'm ready for it, yo. It's been since what? Like, it's been about a week. It's been it's about the longest time they had, like, the layover they had, man. But, yo, big shout out to them. But I'm saying, yo, um, this one man named Jason Kidd. You could become the first head coach to win the championship with the same franchise as a coach and, and as a player. So, big shout out to you, man, if that's true, man. I don't know if that true. I ain't did no research, man. I'm just mimicking and parrots and shit. I done, I'm like a parrot. I done heard some shit. I'm, bah, 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 bah. I'm repeating it. So that might not be true, but I think, eh, come on now. It might be true. And big shout out to Joe Missoula. This is like his second year as head coach for the um, Boston Celtics. So, you know, this is like the third time the two black coaches, head coaches are vying for the NBA championship. So big shout out to them. History. We doing that. Big shit. I like that. But, yo, I'm thinking about, man, this this could be revenge, yo. This could be revenge on somebody, man. The person I'm talking about, yo, I think they're going to punish this dude right here, man. This M.A. Adoka. I think that's what it is, man. They might, if the Celtics win, I think it's to get at him, man, for what he did with that vice president's wife not too long ago. Y'all know how it went down, man. That man lost his job, not because he did nothing wrong. I mean, somebody else's wife, man. <laughs> you know. So, yo, that's why I think they might be getting revenge on him, man. Everybody was like, yo, how you gonna do knee alone like that, man? She might be knee alone to somebody, but to him, she would just debit from down the street, you know? They also might get revenge on um, Kyrie Irving for leaving the Celtics. You know, he had some controversy, man. The league might, you know, they might want to get at him for that, for leaving, not leaving the Celtics, but all the other stuff he had going on, man, like the whole vaccination situation, getting the vaccine, how people, you know, they came together for him, but he didn't want to get no vax. They might want to get at him also for um, sharing the post of his truth. He ain't do nothing but share a post. He ain't say none of the stuff, but he shared the post. So he got in trouble for that. So who knows, man? That's what I'm thinking. As I'm looking at this, I'm looking like, damn. Because everybody say the lead is rigged and all this stuff. And I don't know, man. You, I don't know what you can rig and what you cannot rig about the NBA game. But when I start seeing it, like, oh, shit. If the Celtics win, they can get at M.A. Udoku. Because this that's his team, basically. I mean, he ain't had Chris Stops, Porzingis, and, and White, and Holiday. But he was on the verge of, you know, getting up that hill, man. M.A. Doka with the young talent he had with Tatum and Brown. But he fucked that up. Fucking something, you know. And they moving him up, up out of there. So the league can get back at him with that, man. With that. Just, okay, we're going to let this new head coach who had no coaching experience, that I can recall, not in the NBA at least. I, I, I remember him playing at um, West Virginia. So, you know, but this, this new young buck come in, take over your team and get you to that promised land. And that could have been M.A. Udoku's championship. About the same way it was with, um, what's his name? Mark Jackson and Kerr. You know, that was Kerr. He took the, over the team from Mark Jackson. Had that same team. And, you know, add a few more pieces. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, man. So... That's what I was thinking about. Like, damn, they can get back at him for that. With that. It's like, it's like, damn, that's dirty, man. And they can get back at Kyrie, who played with Dallas. He played with Dallas. He used to play with them, but all that shit he did and the, um, the anti-Semitic shit, they claim anti-Semitic because he shared a post of his truth. Um, the league can get back at him, too. So, hey, it ain't in Dallas' uh, favor right now, man. Shit, and they can get what's my man name? Christoph Pozingas. Used to play for Dallas. Now he played with um the Celtics. So damn, there's a lot of stories going on, man. Tonight. We're gonna see it, man. Game one tonight. Me personally, I ain't got no who, who I want to win, man. I want both of them to win. You, you can't say that. I ain't got I ain't got a horse in this race. I'm a Kobe fan, Shaq fan, Laker fan, whatever you want to call it. Um I kinda want both teams to win. I kinda want I want to see Kyrie get one, another one. You know, I like to see that. Luca get his first. I like that. I like. I, I want to see that little that little story between um you know Jason Kidd being the coach and the, um a player to get one at the same spot. I also want to see Tatum get one. You want the Duke? You see, I'm a Duke fan, but you know what I mean, man. It's it's a lot of stories going on with this 
to me. I don't know if y'all thinking about it the way I'm thinking about it, but that's what I'm thinking about when I'm sitting back looking at this. Like, oh, yeah, they finna fuck over Dallas. Just because. It's too many storylines. It's, it's too much revenge, yo. That's what I'm saying. Is this the finals or is this the final revenge? They finna get their shit off, man. But anyway, we definitely be talking about stuff like this every Friday night at 9 p.m. when I go live. That's when I go live on Fridays, man. This is a video right now. I'm going live Friday night, though, talking about shit just like this. Got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimple that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.